So we've been talking just in general about celebrities that are all popping off as as saying that they now have relig- they have religion or they have spirituality or they have some type of experience. They may even use the name and facade label of Jesus or Christianity or even be so bold as to use the word born again. But I would tell you that it demands a level of spiritual discernment to hash this out because it's all being shown, you know, very publicly in the light when you've got, you know, 15 different news agencies that are all reporting on it. You tend to wonder for the world that hates Jesus, why would they be giving so much press and love to this multimillionaires who admits to getting a free trip to Israel in exchange for some posts? So that's your professional PR marketing. And Part of that was to set up this false pretense, I'm convinced, that she had that hole in her heart filled, i.e. Ichabod was reversed by going into physical water in Israel. Good positive PR campaign for Israel, and it probably only cost him a couple hundred bucks for the plane ticket or however much it costs. I really don't care. And a hotel stay and whatever. So for Israel, it was probably pretty cheap to enlist the uh, multimillionaires who could have easily afforded the trip on her own. But she took the bait and she is now giving you this idea that, you know, she was raised Christian. She has Jewish ancestors. She was offered an amazing opportunity to visit the places that she read about in the Bible growing up. And, you know, now she has this sense of a spiritual connection, something she hasn't had before. It's all your pseudo religious talk wrapped up in, you know, Jesus words for tricking the masses is what I'm telling you. Spiritually, it's so important to me to be baptized in the Jordan River, the same place Jesus was baptized. I've never felt more renewed in her life, but she doesn't tell you a word about repenting of her sins. She doesn't say a word about trusting the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus For her, it's an experience that is coupled with a physical water that cannot wash away your sins. There is a water that can wash away your sins, and it was commingled with Jesus Christ's blood. Your blood is comprised of uh, red platelets and then the, the plasma. And so when Jesus died, he took a rib scar that should remind you of someone else named Adam who had a rib scar that acquired a wife from that rib scar. And Jesus was on the cross. He was poked by the centurion. His heart was poked and it it, uh, let out streams of blood and streams of water, the, the, the platelets that the um the plasma rather that 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 let out and so that blood and that water can save you spiritually and the holy spirit that's the only way you can be saved that's the only way you can fix the ichabod and to get that hole in your heart filled not by going into physical water this is a sham and bless little lights little light studios no one is beyond the reach of jesus he is the cure well i think they're a little naive but i normally their discernment is top notch i i think the christians tend to be very very sweet and very gullible and very um not shrewd and this is why we need spiritual discernment Uh, i love what josh says over at service christie he says that Something to the effect of spiritual discernment is the ability to know the difference between the truth and almost the truth. And I would say that that's very accurate and very good. And just because somebody says I had a spiritual experience and got dipped in water and now this, you know, God sized hole in my heart has been filled. But they don't say anything about the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus and true rebirth from his blood and water and spirit you have a pseudo salvation wrapped up in religion and Satan loves him some religion. He really does. So I just wanted to share this. Looking for my comment. Remember there are terrors that are pretending to be Christians who are soldiers of influence for Satan, even with great deception and lies. You will note a pattern of many people in Hollywood or the music Hollywood music industry 
who are all suddenly getting Jesus, getting religion, but they may not be born again. Do not be so quick to assume that everything that calls itself Christian, even gets baptized, really is. Remember and coexist that there is a one world religion and there is an open spot for the cross next to all the other religious symbols that band together to worship the one false God of this world. Drink that in for a second. The circle of religious symbols that comprise all the false religions have a spot for the cross symbol, but it is another Jesus that Paul and Jesus warned of. Expect another Jesus, another kingdom, another spirit, and another gospel, which is not the one uh, God through the Bible, but the apostles' authority of Paul, etc. gave us, right? So Paul already told us, you, you can count on it. Another Jesus and all these things I just mentioned, it's coming. And these people would be the point men for them and the point women, young, attractive. Um, they, they've had some kind of a personal tragedy and now they've had an experience that they feel has healed them. But is that rebirth? No. Will that lead them to salvation in Christ and getting a new body and glorification through that incorruptible seed to grow a new creation in Christ? A forever humanity? No. And it's not enough that she's being deceived. Now she's being used to deceive others from your good friends and unbelieving Israel who have created this. And she admits that in one of her posts. It was a free trip and it is in exchange for my PR. A couple posts. Uh, Jesus said another imposter would come, but of him. Jesus is the king of the Jews. And that is the sign that was posted on his cross when he wore that crown of thorns, right? And then they tried to get it changed. He says he's the king of the Jews. And Pilate said, leave the sign alone the way I wrote it. He said another would come saying, I am the Messiah Christ, an imposter that is a Jewish man. The Antichrist is coming. And there are many pastors like Biltz and Shapiro who are all pushing for an Israeli-centric kingdom of God, with the international court, the Hague, being rerouted to the capital of the earth, Jerusalem for their dictator, who will come one day soon. So she's essentially one of the pieces of the puzzle aiming you towards that direction. That's what's going on. Leto is also teaching religion. It's not by accident this is the forefront. They are making spiritual things popular, but it will not lead you to eternal life in Christ by the blood. That cross is always absent from Twitter and Instagram for a reason. And I also think of Bieber and many others who are all Christians or apostles of righteousness for the false angel of light. This is what your own Bible warns. Are you listening and paying attention to it? No wonder we have this uptick in celebrities all at once who are all saying or with witness of another celebrity that someone in entertainment has a new spirituality, you know, path to Jesus, whatever. Like Nicki Minaj is saying Kanye is a born again Christian and his wife, Kim, you know, she goes on this press junket to say that Sunday service is Kanye's Christian expression. But to what God, I ask. And I even just sense that the Sunday service is branding. Branding is what you do in marketing so that you can get this kind of chips instead of this kind of chips, for example. Get this God or this experience instead of this one. That's what branding is. And Trump is a master of that. But I'm not talking about Trump. Trump is a good example of an entity who is pretending to be a Christian, just like all these others, to lead you to where? Israel. Israel. Kufi. Do you Kufi? Children United for Christ, a uh, church united for for uh, Israel. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Bible tells us to be united for Christ, but there are those who want us to be united for Israel. And I would say that if you're in Christ, you're in Israel. You're 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 in the olive tree. You're in the one new mankind who's a Jew, and everybody's supposed to be in that. Who isn't in that? The unbelievers, the temporal. The, the, the perishing of the human body with that corruptible seed, that DNA that came from Adam, that comes from all of our fathers. Two different seeds, two different humanities, one that will perish in sin and rebellion and slavery in Adam. And that seed that will is the Holy Spirit that will lead to growing a new creation in Christ. Many people, humans that will live forever in Christ in the new Garden of Eden at the end of time for eternity with Christ, which is what eternal life is in the end of your Bible in the 21st chapter. So two very different paths, two very different gods, two different people, two different mankind is being grown here. That's what Peter was talking about in that verse that we talked about in a video we just did. 
the, in, the incorruptible seed and the corruptible seed. So it's all about this coming of this false imposter Jesus. Wise like a serpent, your master told you to be, and innocent as a dove. Christians are too gullible and not thinking or taking into account that the children of darkness are very shrewd, Jesus said. Satan wants point men and women for his goals, and he rewards his children influencers with millions of dollars. He would not continue blessing those who are truly born again, the, the remnant, who would counter influence souls to the kingdom of God, Jesus the real one, by allowing their vast wealth and keeping of a platform that would injure his kingdom. His kingdom is PR Hollywood, and he pays them well to keep you, the public, away from tree Jesus and ready for his coming anti-Jesus, anti-Christ. Think on these things. That makes sense. If I was Satan, I wouldn't let you stay in Hollywood making millions of dollars and influencing people away, would I? But I would have Demi Lovato go and give you a pseudo gospel and pay her money for it. Were I Satan. And you have Christians that are not even catching what's going on because they're sweet natured and they want everybody to be saved. And when they smell a hint of it, oh, possibly that this person could be saved. They're joyous about it. Never did they think about what the Messiah told you, that there would be tears, fakey fakingtons, and they would... They would lead you astray. That's what's actually happening. And I don't have any hatred towards Little Light Studios. I think they just need to wise up a little bit. Lastly, so if it's a bit suspicious that all of these celebrities are all publicly identifying with Jesus or the Christian rapper of facade, I'm telling you that the book of Jude and 2 Peter 2 warn that this would happen. Don't fall for it as a movement. If these people are truly born again and in love with Jesus, their lives will show it. And it will be damning or damaging to their careers in Hollywood and the devil's influence factory for his son, not the true son of God. Meaning they're going to be outed out of Hollywood. They're not going to be making no millions of dollars singing and dancing and doing interviews. They're not going to go on press junkets. You're not going to have jo Joy Behar um, asking questions of, and, of interest and whatnot. They're, they're supporting a pseudo gospel for, for Satan's son who doesn't care if you call him Jesus. You see what I'm saying? That name's got to go at some point, but that's, that's right now. This is for transition to draw people in and to confuse them. This is fraught with deception. Christians need to wise up, be more discerning and expect deception, which Jesus said would be the number one sign of the end times. All that and Noahide laws and sub laws are coming. And so 12 people agreed with me that that was accurate. Now, she did a press junket and all kinds of people noted that she is she's now spiritual. Everything's great. Right. So there's a reason why USA Today and TMZ and page six and on and on and on and on all had her in the the limelight. Um, saying that she she is now spiritual she's had this experience and she says spirituality is so important to me right but she's never going to tell you the gospel like i will tell you the gospel through first corinthians 15 1 through 4 and is this the one where she's goodness um trying to get off of that sorry because i'm not wanting to stumble people ah um, oh, look at this. So they also put her up to sharing this. Now, yes, there was a Holocaust and it was horrible. But remember, there were Christians that were murdered in the Holocaust, too, not just Jews. And yet they're never, ever talked about. And. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a horrible thing that that power will do that uh, to people to cause the deaths of others. I guess it wasn't this one. There's one where it, she got a new tattoo and the tattoo is me. <laughs> Well, that's interesting. So she gets this big giant lion on her hand. Um, Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. But she had, there it is. Yep, there it is. Let me blow that up for you. She gets this tattoo, which I think is pretty recent, if I'm not mistaken. And it says me. And this is what this temporary humanity is pushing for absolutely it is for their godhood it's about them they are their own god satan the false god of this world will let you worship you as long as you do not 
get to that man. The, the Jews in unbelief call Jesus that man in their writings. They hate his guts. And it's not surprising. There's Gentiles that hate his guts too. Um, just because you're Jewish doesn't somehow make you different and special than everybody else with regard to being an unbeliever. If you're an unbeliever, you're on your way to go pay for your own sins. You need to repent. You need to get the Holy Spirit in you. And um, there is a very active campaign within Hollywood to direct people uh, to a different Jesus. And she is merely just one of those souls along the way being used.